Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to what is going to be the final year of this campaign, at least in theory. I can just keep it going if I want to, but um, we are... We're doing okay against the Austro-Hungarians. Um, we... Their economy is not in free fall, but it's it's certainly it's it's only about a tenth of ours. They do have a sizable fleet remaining. They're still building lots and lots of ships. They've got lots and lots of money in reserve. Um, so it's not like they're going to collapse instantly. But their army lodge is going down and down and down. Uh, their current battleship design is pretty terrible. Um, Especially if it's the stupidly expensive ones. Uh, and the army is pushing. Uh, we've also got a naval invasion going on here into Novorossisk. Novorossisk. Um, and we have some battles to do. Light cruisers. I'll not do that because... Uh, well... Oh, especially not with a Cosmo. A Prote and a AI cruiser. So that's a no. Uh, this one, though, I will take a crack at. Uh, let's just sink a couple of heavy cruisers with the Salt Shards. I think um, just because we, we have really stomped the AI in this campaign... Um, I might, I might just, yeah, do you know what? Screw it. Um, I will end it at the normal time. Uh, we'll end at the end of this year, so this probably is going to be the final episode. Uh, I'm not going to do the going past retirement um, trick, which if you don't know, you can just press escape when the retirement screen comes up and keep playing. Um, simply because uh, I do have a good idea for the next campaign, or at least I think it's a good idea. Uh, it is being voted on by Patreons, the country I am playing. Um, however, I I think I know what I how I want to set it up. It's going to be uh, a lot more difficult <laughs> than the French campaign has been, um, and uh, it's going to be. A little bit special. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think we play out this year. I do as much as I can. Fighting wise. And uh, yeah, we uh, move on to pastures new. I think even though the war with Austro-Hungary is going on, I think what I'll do is in um... October, November... Oh, thank fuck for that. Kind of time. I will uh, push for a peace treaty. And uh, the final conquest of Austro-Hungary can be uh, some other admiral's job. Given uh, how old I must be at this point. <laughs> uh. Oh, nice shot. Main belt pen. Whacked. That cruiser. Pretty badly. Oh, fuck. why I wanted to keep the destroyers around, but if the AI is just going to prioritise killing them, there's no point. Uh, swap to the other one. Let's 
trying to catch them while they weren't angled, but no luck. Let's uh, not stay sailing in a straight line. Oh, very nice. Both of them are certainly damaged. Torpedo debt. Very nice. They do still have torpedoes, though. Both of them. The uh, deck launchers on the Kaiserain are destroyed. And it looks like they're withdrawing, which makes perfect sense. Both ships are pretty badly damaged. In the angle, I'm going to switch up to HE, even though it's just going to give me partial pens. some AP. Nothing. Just trying to get a flooding hit on the forward section. to dance too close to them. Those single launchers can basically reload instantly when you're playing on uh, times five. Tough ships, actually. Get the uh, bridge. Which are ricochets because they're headed straight in. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, not enough. That might be. Yep, yeah, there we go. No. Give me some proper flooding. That'll do. Right. So, Charles, you may uh, destroy the transports at your leisure. I'll see you guys on the post battle results screen. There we go. Um, relatively simple engagement. Right, back to the map. Now, here's the battle that I think I teased at the end of the last episode and then forgot about. Uh, the France, the Danton and the Mousqueton have found the Habsburg and the Strutbar. Uh They're both the hyper-expensive uh, battlesh battleships. So this is potentially a way to absolutely ruin the Austro-Hungarians. So even though it is a little bit of a risk, 
we are close to the end here. We might as well take a punt. Right, so France, Stanton, and Muscaton. Okay, so the France and Danton, eh, they're about the same sort of speed. They can form a little uh, group. Uh, good. The um, Poncelet can absolutely help, but is going to get targeted. Um, I'm actually going to get her to follow the Danton. Mousqueton, though, is going to be a big old distraction and run straight up <laughs> to them. Let's see if uh, we can use the all forward properly. So I think let's have a look here. Yeah, we've got two battleships. Uh, France, target that one. Danton, target that one. Muscaton, I'll let you. Uh, do you think? Going for a uh, Poncelet. Uh, Danton. Oh no, you have changed your speed. Or rather, are trying to change your speed. It might take you a while. Poncelet, uh, you're going to act as bait to draw the enemy in. Right, it's the lay of the land here. Muscaton's actually shooting up the transports, which is, I mean, I guess the gut, the aim, but I'd rather you fire on the very dangerous battleship. Well, they are, they have a lot of guns. Good hit. Muscaton, main belt pen. Lovely. Do you like these uh, Dunkirk esque ships? Get the secondaries on the transport to see as we're here. One hit, one solid hit. Come on, do it again. Oh, yeah, got him banged to rights. Big damage on the Habsburg there. And again, come on. Yeah, love it. Destroyed the bridge, damaged the steering gear. Oh, it takes a hit in return, though. Lovely. Another main belt pen. That's right, go right in front of the guns.
That is very nice damage. Um, Streetball has taken a little bit. Habsburg is damaged, but I think it's time for Muscaton to get out of there. She's uh, kind of done her job. Although... Oh, lovely. Destroy the main gun. user is a billion dollar torpedo because <laughs> what I'd like to do is actually to sail aft of Habsburg and then make a break for it ow I don't think Muscatel's getting out of this be very cavalier about it. Oh, rude. No, Muscaton's going to go down. But, uh, she has done a hell of a lot of damage. And remember, these ships are 10 or 20 times the price of mine. Yeah, Muscaton goes down. Independent action to school for. Right. Come on. Give me some hits. Lovely. Danton did take some in return, but... Lovely stuff. Good shot by the France. things <laughs> sometimes it's like just die oh my word Finish off the last transport. How's Danton doing? Oh, Danton's in trouble. A lot of trouble. Come on, France. You need to uh, take some of the heat off or sink these ships. Fuck. <sighs> Flooding. Go 
I'll fire back at the moment. Street bar hanging on by a thread. Yeah, got him. Okay. Just the Habsburg remains. The angle HE might be better. Should finish her off. Oh, she surrenders. Fair enough. Oh, well, it was a bit messy, but that was fun. <laughs> yeah, victory point difference. Uh, yeah, okay, I lost two two ships, but theirs cost a lot of money. Right, back to the map. All right. Um, the following month, uh, the Madeleine de Brest, uh, which is a Alsace, has found the Arpad and a cruiser, uh, which we can try and take out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, the destroyer I'm just going to immediately send away. Um, because, again, with the way the AI is working at the moment... <clears throat> freaking value of working. Uh, it uh, seems to prioritise ships, the easiest ship to kill, but does not take hit rate or hit chance into that. Um, so it tends to target things that are really far away, um, but easy to kill, like a destroyer or a transport or something, so. Uh, looks like that light cruiser is coming in. Let's see if we can eliminate them. Bunch of partial pins, switch up to AP. Boom. Heavy damage. A lot of flooding. <laughs> torpedoes. <laughs> Thought they were out of range. Come on, put them down. Good. Right. Let's get after the heavy cruiser. 
Little torpedo shit. They uh, running by any chance? They are indeed running. <laughs> Not the worst decision in the world. Kind of don't blame them. They are faster than the Madeline Debris. They can get away. And may well do so unless I can land a good hit. Our AP just I know the angle's terrible, but it's worth going for a flooding hit. I think they're they're gonna get away. Right, might as well retreat ourselves then. See you guys on the post battle results screen. Here we are. Um, very minor skirmish, but uh, still decent. Back to the map. All right, next up we have the Marguerite Duponant. She's found the Loudon, which seems to be a very similar type of ship. Um, similar concept, although it's a lot slower and doesn't have the world's best quality armor. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Right, let's go. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Right, let's see. Let's see what you're made of. Okay. Oh yeah, it's one of these. Oh, they're not terrible. Ouch. Should be a pretty even fight. Barring extremely lucky hits. Gaping a hole in the after deck. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> What's their action like? 4.3? Jesus, we've scored... We're at one point. Fucking hell! AI... Bastards? Pulling that shit off. <laughs> Got 11% accuracy. Done nothing. Hit, but it does nothing. Destroy the secondary gun. Right, try AP. Nothing. <laughs> Jeez, a really good strategy against me specifically. Really annoying when everyone uses it. What's the range here? 18. You can't possibly tell me that 18. Thousand. Yeah, no, it's it's, but it is up there. So it'll be seventy. It'll get, be getting to seventy-five percent. Oh. 
There we go. Finally some proper hits. <sighs> yeah, capitalistic HE. Gonna have to withdraw. Yeah, at some point. Flooding damage. Good. Ow. Yeah, they got double the accuracy I did. And like you can see at this distance there's not that much in it. Accuracy wise, it feels a little bit unfair. <laughs> Unreasonable XCOM statistics. You both have similar um, hit rates, and yet the AI gets double the actual accuracy. That feels bad. I mean, saying 15 versus 20, but still. <laughs> it's not what it was showing up on the... Oh, damn it. Anyway. Fine. Okay. Okay, loud on. Think you're so hot. See how you deal with the Neptune class. Absolute bastard. Of a ship. Poor little foul song class. Not really designed for... Battle cruiser on battle cruiser action, but uh, the Neptunes are effectively battleships. So immediately kill it. The three light cruisers, you're going to be bait, and you are going to bait by immediately popping smoke and withdrawing. Because none of those enemy ships carry torps. Ooh, they're coming straight at me. Interesting. There's 
a hit. Didn't go through the armor though. Oh yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, lucky nonsense. That last shell might hit. Still closing in. Still closing in. Getting the deck, so we're not getting really solid hit. Oh, that was a sh good hit. Half built, but still. Taking on water. Cruisers, not light cruisers. Okay, so it's Good job, I kept my distance. <laughs> Might need to start eliminating the heavy cruisers. Take out the loud note. Enough. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start eliminating the heavy cruisers. There that is. Let's 
sticking with their battle cruiser. Yes, very good. Big hit on the Urzog Carl. this up. Dud. Of course, the steering gets damaged. Does at least mean that my uh, crazy maneuvering is <laughs> um. Oh, actually, they fixed it. Wow, you rarely see that. Fast and loose here. Another nice hit. their big torps around. Both of them. Steering gear is being fixed once again. Here comes the washing machine to remind me to tell you <laughs> to like the video. <laughs> Check out the Kofi and Patreon links in the video description. If you want to give me money, become a channel member, get early access to videos, etc. etc. All helps fund getting a door between me and the very loud thing. <sighs> oh my 
almost. Running low on AP shells is the only problem. Flooding take hold. Use the HE to keep the uh, firing solution as best we can. Good. More flooding hits. Good, good, good. Oh, they sank. Right, HE. Let's close in on the Loudon. People have lost power to their turrets for some reason. It's fine by me. We're going to have to chase them for a bit anyway. Get some fire damage and generally weaken them with the HE. Slowing up. All out and can't be going that fast. No. I'll try and pull alongside and finish her off. She's doing that because she's on a retreat command. It's going to angle away from me constantly, but I think we can switch up to the AP now. Ah, uh, she's still actually very highly angled. No, stick with the AG. But the angle is better than it was. We are doing a lot of damage this close, anyway. Speed up. Speed and power. Right, now go AP. No. Next round. Now that'll do. Revenge there. Lovely. And three heavy cruisers as well. I thought they were lights. Can't even read today. Right, back to the map. 
Okay, we spotted another freebie. It's not, however, one of the really expensive ones. It's one of the less expensive ones. Uh, got Verite and Porthos, plus a bunch of... Well, not quite trash, but... Some throwaway destroyers that can... Uh, distract the enemy. I'm sure I've already sunk a Shona. <laughs> Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Right, split up. Now, given that what happened to the Muscaton, we're not going to go ham with Porthos yet. We are going to be vaguely sensible. Verite is, however, very slow. Right, Thames. Uh, right, you're Senegalis that I actually want to keep. And you lot are... Expendable Division. Expect them to be targeted almost immediately. Oh, they're actually going for the uh, Jean Trick, potentially, which is hilarious. a destroyer. And another one. Like I said, they're really only here as a distraction. And another one. Meanwhile, Get a main belt pen. Right, all the destroyers go splat. Right, where's that throwaway light cruiser? There it is. Porthos, meanwhile, it's close to murder in range. Showing up completely ignoring the Porthos, who is going for a magazine hit. Gun. Lovely. You're going to explode? Please explode. No. No explosions. Bunch more damage. Kills the Thames. Of course, eliminating a turret is a pretty big deal because um, if it means that they can't fire f forward very easily. Again, completely ignore them, Porthos. Who are they trying to shoot now? They're going off the shot. They're going after the destroyer all the way over there. Mm. Showing it really badly damaged. Even the secondaries do damage to it. Oh, 
course needs to circle around there. Oh, no need. Verite gets the last hits in and finishes her off. Right, well that went a lot better than the first battle did. Excellent. Back to map. Okay, so now we have the Grimo uh, against the Fido. And a couple of light cruisers. They are actually light cruisers this time. Should be able to handle it. Because uh, there's no torpedo threat this time. So I can just close in and blast them to bits. Alright. Everyone else, go home. Should only need the Grimo for this. And of course, retreating destroyers and cruisers are catnip <laughs> to the uh, AI. Might be worth taking out the light cruisers. So they are coming forwards. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Jesus. That was a huge hit. Good. Bounced off. Got him. secondary gun. Not the biggest thing in the world, but it helps. Right. Let's get the secondaries on the transports. Are we just coming right at each other? We are tilting almost. Playing a game of chicken. Nice hit there. We're going to get another one before we pass. Mm, no. Their shot did almost nothing there. Let's spin around. Get after them. nothing from them. There you go. That might have sunk in that salvo.
It did. Right, I'm going to go sync the transports. I will see you on the post battle results screen. Alright, decent, decent result. Uh, yeah, let's go see how the invasions are getting on. Okay, the naval invasion on southern Russia has failed. That's 54, 25, 78, 59. None of them are particularly close. Um, I've just been ignoring other battles. Um, we should be able to push for a peace treaty quite soon. Um, I will do that, and uh, hopefully that will be in the next couple of months. The peace treaty negotiations failed on the last month, because of course they did. <sighs> Even though that they've been asking for a... Do you know what? I kind of want to see what kind of peace deal I can get. No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to have to wait three months, though. Now, nah, screw it. Um, I'm just going to end the turn and retire because I've had enough. <laughs> it's been a really fun campaign, but um, I think it, I I think it's just a matter of time. And uh, yeah, we retire. Um, we'll let someone else deal with it. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Right, I'm going to have to have a proper look at this. Um, Hmm. Okay, so we were in charge for 75 years, assuming that I was 25 when I took over. <laughs> I'm now 100. Um, sure. Um, wars for versus Britain. Three and a half million tons of ships. Very nice. Against the Germans, just under a million. Uh, although they went out quite early. Just over a million against the Americans. A little bit against the Russians. Very little against the Italians. Austro-Hungarians, especially at the end there, nearly two million tons. And that was all, almost all in that last war, so that was crazy. A little bit against Japan. A little bit against Spain. And a little bit against poor old China. Total ships built, just over 6 million tonnes, uh, nearly all of which is still in service because we only lost 423,000 tonnes, 8 battleships, 2 battle cruisers, 9 heavy cruisers, 10 lights and 23 destroyers. But in return we have sunk a total of 7 million tonnes, including 62 battleships. Damn and uh, sent nearly half a million sailors to the bottom. Well, that has been an enormously fun campaign. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time for a brand new campaign. And, uh, well, you'll just have to wait and see what that's all going to be about. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.